Well, we live in the age of the transgender athlete. More and more biological males are breaking into women's sports, and in some cases, they are dominating. Sharon Davies is a former Olympic swimmer from Great Britain. She was recently accused of hate speech for saying that transgender athletes should not be allowed to compete against biological women. We spoke to her recently about this. Here it is. Sharon, thanks very much for coming on. Why did you say that You're transgender welcome. athletes should not be allowed to compete against biological women? Um, well, there's quite a few of us here in the UK, myself, uh, Kelly Holmes, Paula Radcliffe, Tessa Sanderson, Daley Thompson, the list is growing every single day. So basically what we have now decided is that we just need to speak out before this injustice actually happens. As we know, there's a difference of about 10 to 12 percent between a female performance and a male performance. So a transgender woman who is biologically a man and been born a boy will have that advantage, whether they've had testosterone suppressant or no, that will remain with them for the rest of their lives. And that gives you know, the females that you're racing against a massive disadvantage, and that's just not a level playing field. So we felt that something needs to be said. Um, it's not a matter of, of being transphobic. It's not a matter of having a problem with the transgender community in any shape or form. It's about just wanting sport to be fair and to be based on sex, not gender. So the counter to this, well, the counter that you received is shut up, you're a hater. But the, the second level yeah. counter is that when someone becomes transgender, that person is no longer the other sex at all. The transformation is complete and that person doesn't have an advantage. That's not true, you're saying. No, it's, it's not true. I mean, you know, if you are born male, if you're born XY, um, then you're going to have a bigger lung capacity, you're going to be taller, you're going to have bigger feet, bigger hands, um, a better, better red blood cell count, uh, better hand-eye coordination. All of those things do not go away if you transition. And the majority of um, men transition after puberty, so they have all the extra strength that comes with testosterone that is very much pumped through the body when you go through puberty. And even if you suppress for one year, it's going to make very little difference to your actual performance. And women just cannot stand next to somebody and, and beat them. You know, the reason why I suppose I'm speaking out um, more than, than most is that I competed against these Germans for nearly 10 years of my life. And I know exactly what it yes. feels like to stand next to someone that you know no matter what you do in the swimming pool, you just can't beat them. That is a fascinating perspective. So to, you're making a rational case that is clearly true and science backs you up. Then why haven't the authorities... Yeah who make the rules for sporting competitions stood up and said what you are saying. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's our problem. And that's why the Our Voice is gathering now. And it's not just gathering, obviously, here in the UK. You know, Martina Navratilova started this a few weeks ago in America. Yes. I've spoken to friends in Australia. Uh, my daughter's an ex-athlete. She's spoken to many of her friends who are competing nowadays. I've spoken to many swimmers that are competing nowadays. And they're all very frightened to speak out because they get called transphobic, which is just not true. Um, you know, this is about sports. This is about biology and this is about science and all we're asking for is more research um, at the moment for the Olympic Games um, next year in Tokyo you just have to reduce your testosterone for one year so no surgery no diagnosis from a doctor no estrogen in your system whatsoever and in fact if Putin were to put out all his um, third and fourth and fifth string males against the rest of the British athletes or, uh, you know, and the world athletes, he could do that right now, providing they stood up and said that uh, they recognise themselves, they self-identify as a woman. And so it's the potential to abuse this rule that's also very worrying. It's totally crazy. Finally, and quickly, do you find it odd that self-described progressives are working to take opportunities from young women? Yes, I do. You know, in this country, and I'm sure it's the same in the States, women's sport has really grown, particularly in all things like hockey, um, football, netball. Um, you know, we, we've worked really hard over the last few years to give women better opportunities. I just find it extraordinary that we're not coming up with a better solution for everybody. I think you've got two choices, really. You've got to turn around and say, well, the men's category is an open category. Um, and women's sport is kept purely for biological females. Or you've got to say the transgender community has their own games. That's right, which, which, which might be the answer. You're a brave person to come on uh, and say the obvious tonight, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.